What is happening guys, Martin Martinez is back again Answering some of your questions, but I thought I'd do this quick video for those that are interested in it Basically, yeah, the point of the video, the topic of the video is why I stopped buying fragrances When I particularly learned this particular thing, so ultimately guys again don't get me wrong, I used to watch a lot of the YouTube videos with different, um, how could I say, different uh, fragrance enthusiasts, different people looking at the videos or different people putting out videos explaining to you every single week what the latest fragrance is. This is one you have to go and get, this one's amazing, this one you have to go and get. And there's a lot of fragrances again that have come out years ago that seem to come back into style. There's some fragrances that are always classic and you'll never really, how could I say, um, be too far away from that fragrance. So I'm going to say Le Mal, for example, you could say Invictus, you could say One Million, you know, there's a lot of these fragrances that seem to always have some sort of pulling power. You as a personal individual fragrance enthusiast will probably go to a point where you go beyond that fragrance and you look at other things. Me personally, I think you got to a point now where I've learned some key things about fragrances over time. You see the previous videos, you see how much time I put into them. But I think what's happened to me, guys, and where I am now, my collection, I'm trying to reduce it down and borderline get rid of a lot of the fragrances. I think I was in excess of at least near the borderline, say 150 bottles easily, quite easily, were for fragrances. And again, some of them were gifted, some of them were um, purchased with the monies that came from the YouTube, which wasn't particularly much, but you know, different things, um, you know, I was finding with these fragrances is that there is a common theme, theme throughout. And you'll see a lot of these, these more recent YouTube reviewers and stuff like that, a lot of them will say the same thing that a lot of these fragrances, there isn't actually anything new in the fragrance or there's nothing that stand out about the fragrance. But the question is, and the problem that you're gonna find guys, is that you as the individual now, you with your hard earned money, you're gonna go and buy this fragrance. Sometimes even blind by the fragrance because some YouTuber has told you that it's pretty good. And then ultimately, what is the goal? What is the end goal? Is it to have a fragrance just to enjoy the fragrance? Is it to have a fragrance to impress somebody else? And I think guys, one thing I've started to learn is that, mm -hmm. in all honesty, nobody really cares. No one gives a damn if you own 150 fragrances. Maybe in a small niche community and it means something, but intrinsically, what does it really mean? You know what I mean? The collection of stuff is one thing within itself, but to own multiple fragrances, that you can only wear so many fragrances in one day. You can only, well, not so many fragrances, but you can only enjoy so much at a time is what I'd say. And I think realistically, if you think of somebody who owns, think of a fragrance like a bottle of wine. If you really enjoy that particular bottle of wine, you really want to savor that wine, you're not going to sip it fast. You're going to take the time to allow it to, um, you know, decant it. You're going to allow the air to come into it. You're going to give it some time to just sit and rest. And again, with the fragrances, some fragrances you can have for years. You have it for years. You have bottles that you have for years. You don't rush through it. You don't drill out the bottle. You make sure you enjoy the fragrance. There's other fragrances that will just go very quickly because again, maybe it's a gym scent, maybe it's something that you just need very quickly to, to spray on and keep it going. For me guys, I decided on two points where I stopped, stopped um, um, buying fragrances. Don't get me wrong, if I smell something that is so stand out amazing, that's one thing, but very rarely I'm gonna smell that now. For me guys, it's like five classic fragrances that I'll have always on deck. And I'm even just one of them now, for example, just, just close by. So five classic fragrances I'm always gonna have on deck. Something that I've just got that I know, it doesn't matter realistically in the scenario, this is one that I'm gonna enjoy whatever happens. So obviously I may not be wearing this one to the gym, but cold weather, you know, evening party, you name it, this one is a banger, this one's a hit. It's been reformulated over time, Spice Bomb, and I know there's variations and flankers out there now, but I go back to the original Spice Bomb, I know where I am, that pepper, that nice type of creamy dry down is what I enjoy, and I've, I've got compliments from this, tried and tested, mm -hmm. and that's what I recommend for some of you guys, guys. Stick with the tried and tested fragrances that you've got. Don't feel you need to keep buying the latest fragrance that comes out. Don't feel like you need to necessarily follow every single thing that a YouTuber is saying. Zara released a new fragrance and straight away, oh yeah, I need to go and buy this fragrance and it's so cheap and everything else like that. Unbeknownst when you've got another 50 fragrances in the background that you hardly even wear just because you bought it because somebody said it smells good. You know, when the fragrances actually start costing a little bit more, so if you're paying maybe 50, 60 pounds for fragrance, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be a little bit more reluctant as to whether you pull the trigger and go buy that fragrance or not. So for me guys, that's number one. 
I could do a breakdown of the five fragrances that I've got. I've just given you an example. If you want to do a video on that, guys, leave your comments down below. Again, it's Ask Martinez. So if you've got any questions, by all means, ask me. And then I'll let you know and I'll try and do a video from there. Second point I'm going to say, and this is one of the key things I realized as well. Number one in that nobody cares really if you have 100 fragrances or not. Realistically, they're smelling you on that day. They're seeing how your appearance is on that day. And if you come across and you're not dressed in maybe a particular way, depending on the circumstances and where you are, and you're rolling up and you're smelling, you could be wearing a 200 pound fringe, but at the end of the day, if you look like you're a bit of a bum, you look like you're not too sure what's going on, people don't really care, people aren't really interested. So I'll just bear that in mind as well, guys. Um, but one thing I'll say as well is that I've noticed, especially for the guys who are single and the different type of bachelors and everything else going on like that, um, and even you can say ladies as well. So ladies, if you're here, leave your comments down below. But ultimately, no one really care. I, I mean, I don't think people really care that much what your fragrance is like. I mean, don't get me wrong, as long as you make an attempt, you don't really have to buy fragrances costing two, three hundred pounds to go on a first date. And people don't really care. You could be in a relationship and the person is just happy with your standard fragrance. You could go with, let's say, I'm gonna say, uh, Versace put on nice Chanel Allure type of vibe, shower gel vibe, classic fragrance, everyone enjoys it. Don't really think beyond that, you have to do much more. There are some people I know that stick with one fragrance and don't wear anything else whatsoever. Me personally, I find that a little bit boring, but that's just me. However, there's an extreme of one to go all the way to 150, and I think that's the key thing here. So find that balance, guys. No one really cares realistically if you have 150 fragrances. No one really gives a damn. Life goes on. You've got to find what works for you. If it's really something that you're passionate about, you really want to get into, okay, that's fine. But what happens as things move along, as, as, as you'll see a lot of these videos with a lot of these YouTubers as well that used to do uh, fragrance reviews. And I've even seen the same thing where they get to a point it's like, look, these fragrances I have now will last me a lifetime. What am I supposed to do with all these, 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 these bottles, basically? What do you do with it? And I think realistically, you know, if you really enjoy the fragrances and you're really about perfumery and different things, you don't really need that many fragrances. You really should be able to now you've got to a point where you know what what type of smells to look for, you know what you like, you know what to expect when it comes to long, um, longevity and different things of that nature, and you know realistically, there's only gonna be, in my opinion, I'm gonna count them, five, five fragrances I'm gonna say, that should be more than enough to cover all situations, um, over the five at least, and to be honest, until something comes out that is so groundbreaking, there's only so many times that happens, but until something comes out that is such like that, I don't think you're ready to go on by anything else. So guys, leave your comments down below. Again, if you've got any questions, please do not forget to ask. Leave your comments, give the video a like and thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.